Welcome to this video playing Grandmaster R. Adli. Yeah, this is a not sure about his first name. Ahmed Adli. Yeah, World Junior Champion 2007. This is a very strong GM, 2600 player. Okay, let's go with my Queen B3 line. I never played him, right? Yeah, I've seen him on the ICC, but um, he's not a very he's not a frequent opponent. It's the first game I have against him. So we transpose to some kind of queen's gambit declined. He answered with e6. That's a good uh, good reply. Okay. So is he going to take on c3? This is a um, if he takes on c3, it's uh, very similar to to Lasker variation. Very. Very sound and solid way for black to play. Okay, he's um, probably aiming to play um, play e5. I'm going to play rook d1, which um, prevents e5 for the moment because of rook d8 at the end of those lines. Dc bishop takes e5, take take everything at the end. Rook d8 and white wins, so he cannot go e5 now. Not sure, this is maybe a slightly worse version of the Lasker. It's not so easy to see what his move is now. B6, I'm trading on D5. Yeah, this is possible. It, um, oh, okay, yeah, maybe just take. This is, this is the easiest way to play. This this always should be a um, slight, slight edge for white. Knight e4, maybe. Oh. No, he's uh, covering it. Uh, didn't expect that at all. Cover that that, that weakens uh, c6 quite a bit. How is he playing this? Maybe here. Not sure. Can also weaken my position, but and maybe he can take on d3, play bishop f5 or something like that. Huh. Hmm. Tja. Yeah, he took it. Eh? Queen takes, queen b4, that's probably no good, so have to take with the rook. Yeah, if I take on d5, he can play, um, he can play uh, rook c8. I want the knight on d4. And bishop g4 is a bit, bit of an issue. <laughs> On rook d1, he will play bishop g4, I guess. Hmm. Rook d4 looks very unharmonious. Yeah, okay, maybe I'm going back. Bishop g4, I, I have moves like queen d4, for example. Still should be quite okay. Yeah, uh, I think he has to do that. Otherwise, he has no no kind of compensation for the for his structural problems with the pawn. This this should be okay for him, I guess. In some way, okay. I'm not not sure. Okay, queen g5. I intended queen g4, but he can take and play rook e4, double attacking. Just keep this protected. So that now I'm I'm really threatening Check. the pawn. Yeah, queen g4. I thought. 
it's probably king moves are not helping but this way i'm forcing trades rook on c8 also hangs I can take c1, that's an idea, and then move the queen. Yeah, probably rook c1. Not totally certain, but if he takes on g4, I'm not sure, maybe I still have a very slight pull against his this isolated pawn, but yeah, this is better. And now move the queen to e5, for example. It makes quite a bit of sense. And he has ideas like rook e5 now. Okay, um, rook c8 to trade rooks. Maybe, yeah, it does make, that does make sense. If he goes rook e5 is a bit of a tricky business, so let's see if I can get this traded. Check. Maybe check. Check. And then go to d3. Queen g6 should be okay for me. He still has the d5 pawn weakness. It's not clear. His king is more active, but hard to believe. I'm worse after that. I expect g6 or this one. And now I can actually draw. Yeah, it's difficult. I don't think I can Check. play this for a win. I mean, I can win on time. I could try to win on time, but okay, he wants to continue. <laughs> I'm blundering a pawn. Ah, what the heck? Come on. The, the only way to lose this bloody game is, is gifting him a pawn. Yeah, I can just play king g2 Check. and never ever lose. Yeah. Ah. Check. Idiotic. Simply idiotic. The absolute only way to lose I found. Yeah. Great. Great. Yeah, come on here, get this point. White resigns. Just blundering the pawn in one move, yeah? The whole game, he's struggling to equalize this. And check, okay, it's check. a draw. Okay, let, let's make a draw. And I play queen d3 and give him the pawn in one move. Check. How idiotic is that? Check. Yeah, just, just something. And he can never, ever, ever, ever can wide lose him. Yeah, just keeping the king side protected, put the queen on d3. I mean, yes, he basically has to check. I mean, continuing was was quite quite cheeky, but okay. If I blunder the pawn in one move, let's let's just uh, continue. Yeah. Check. It's simply, simply idiotic. And of course, I should have kept an advantage here because uh, here white white should be better as well. Uh, probably bishop e two. I don't know. This this is probably okay. Yeah. This this should equalize. Check. Yeah, it's just very equal. Check. I Check. played it a bit, yeah, a bit Check. soft. Yeah, I had Check. more ideas to um, to play more actively. Maybe I should have done that. But um, yeah, yeah, I lost three games in a row. This is the fourth game in a row, so I tended to play on the on the safe side. But uh, well, this is maybe for the guys who wrote. Uh, yeah, I'm uploading uh, my wins, <laughs> not my losses. Here, there are four lo losses in a row. Hope you enjoy them. Okay, thanks for watching, guys.